What's going on guys, it's your boy Eric Strick and today we're going to be doing an apartment tour. You know, I have been MIA from YouTube for a while and I thought I would do this really cool tour of where I'm living now because I'm no longer living with my parents. So I thought this would be a really good way to get back into YouTube, do an apartment tour and we're going to get some more videos going this week. But without further ado, we're going to go from outside to inside, so let's get going. That was quick what's going on guys we are now in the apartment and we're going to start over here in the kitchen slash living room slash computer setup because this is basically where all the stuff happens over there if you want to look over there real quick there's a door that leads to my bedroom and bathroom but we're going to get to that at the end because you know what that's not as cool this is where everything happens so let's start in here so we're going to start with the kitchen and you may be wondering where the hell is the fridge well the fridge is right here and as you can see, um, I don't eat a lot. It's literally chicken, watermelon, sweet potatoes, some sauces, apple juice, water. That's basically my diet. And if you come down here, there's literally more yogurt. Why? Because that's what I have for breakfast. Every single day. Anyways, the rest of this is pretty much, you know, basic kitchen. We have sink here, garbage under there. Over here, we got a nice little dishwasher, which is really, really dope. Does a good job. I know kids probably don't care, but you know, once you get older, you start to care. Over here, we have a nice little oven and stove we have all this good stuff and then we have my blender to make smoothies we have all this the cutting board nice clean little area as you can see i like really simplistic there's not much color anywhere besides like the painting i just like the whole white kind of vibe it looks really good in here especially with all the natural light so this is pretty much the kitchen nothing too special we got like an island in the middle we got two stools from ikea you know fun fact david dobrik has the same stools i'm part david dobrik now yeah, we got an oven under here, but that's pretty much the kitchen. So we're going to move on towards the desk and the whole setup here, because this is probably going to be the biggest part of the whole tour and the thing that I'm most excited to talk about. Okay, so over here, I have my whole gaming slash editing setup. As you can see here, I have an ultra wide monitor. So you can literally see how big a video is when I watch YouTube on there or I'm playing video games. That's pretty friggin' big. This monitor is a art monitor. I don't know why they call it that, but it was around $1,100. I use it for editing, gaming, video, whatever. And then beside it over there, I have a vertical monitor. On that monitor, I'll have like Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, whatever I want, just kind of off to the side while I'm gaming. Over here, we have a mic. It's called the Shure SM7B. Really good mic if you want to buy it, you know, could put the link in the description, you know what I'm saying? But it's a really good mic because you have this mic and it's XLR, this is kind of techy. You're gonna need a mixer, which I have there, got headphones. And if you're curious what keyboard I have because it lights up all these colors, it's a Razer keyboard and I also have a Razer mouse because you know, RGB, it's cool. And then if you wanna come down here, you can see that I have this beautiful computer that I built myself. I have a 2080 Ti graphics card. If you're a gamer, you know what that is. i9 9900K processor. And then we have a bunch of other cool stuff. We have 64 gigs of RAM. And yeah, this is a beast. I use it for editing all my videos, gaming, whatever. Does the job, super quiet. Had this for about two years now. And that's pretty much the whole gaming setup here. And finally, it wouldn't be complete without a ring light because you know, I do TikTok, so I need the ring light. Also on my desk, I have a few little cool things that I like. I have this little Snapchat ghost here. Got it from Snapchat HQ when I went to LA. Super cool. Thank you for them for giving me that. I also have my TikTok bucket hat, which is super dope. And then down here, I have this cool little thing, which I will film TikToks on. This thing will spin around, use the remote. So that's a cool little thing. I can also do a review of this because every TikToker should have one of these, but nobody really knows what it is. So I'll get into that later. The last thing in this room that I really want to talk about over here is this painting. It's not actually a painting, it's a picture that I took. It's a super cool picture, my favorite one. It's literally me dangling off of a cliff, almost dying to get this picture, you know, trespassing. But my favorite picture that I have ever taken 
And also, another cool piece of furniture that I have bought for this place is this giant beanbag here. It literally cost me 500 bucks, but it is the best thing ever because you can literally just jump in it and you can watch TV, which I have right here. And I watch Netflix, football, whatever you want. And then down here, I also have a tiny little Snapchat ghost. He just kind of hangs out. But yeah, that is this room. And also right here, I have this cool little Snapchat ghost. Super awesome. It's the smaller version of the big one, but that's pretty much everything in this room. So let's go to the bedroom. And now we're over here in the bedroom, which is, you know, the place where the magic happens, all that good stuff. You may see here that I have stuffed animals. Don't judge me because you know what? It is manly to sleep with stuffed animals. I have a bunny, I have a dog. I have a little pillow. They're all stuff from my childhood except for the bunny. This thing's really special to me because me and my girlfriend have bunnies. So this is really, really special. This is a comforter that I, it's literally the comfiest thing I have ever, ever slept on. Highly recommend it. No idea where my mom got it, but it's Ugg. Literally the softest thing here. Like it is like furry on the inside and it's like heavy. So it's literally amazing. Over here, you know, we got the lamp. We got the freaking fan, nothing special. It's, it's a lamp and a fan. And then, if you guys are curious as to what's in my closet, this is what my closet looks like. It's kind of messy right now, but as you can see here, a lot of the clothes I wear are gray, black, eh, some white, some pink. Those are my things. And over here we have my merch. And if you want to get the merch, go to creatorcloset.shop.com slash collections slash Eric Strook. We got t-shirts, we got hoodies. It's awesome, super cheap, super comfy. These things are awesome, highly recommend it. Also in the closet here, we got some other cool stuff. We got my drone, which I can't really fly downtown Toronto because uh, there's airplanes and they think I'm gonna blow something up. So I can't do that. We also got a mic for interviewing things. We got a Polaroid that my friend gave me. Uh, haven't given it back to him. Should probably do that today because he's actually in the city. So might actually do that. If you want to come over here on the other side of the closet, you know, we got some other cool stuff. You know, we got some storage. And then down here we have my favorite shoes ever. We got some Travis Scott Astro World custom Air Force Ones. As you can see, these things are dope. They're sick, you know, got them for free. Little brand deal, but these are dope. Don't judge the fact that I have toilet paper in my closet. I just kind of store it there. But if you want to come over here, we have another little cool thing. We got myself an alcohol fridge, you know, cause in Canada, legal age is 19, I'm 19. Right now it's kind of depressing though. We don't have much in there. We got some gin, we got some Palm Bay, we got some, uh, smearing off ice, uh, not gonna do that right now. Um, and we also got some whiskey that is, you know, empty. So I don't know why I have that, but that is the fridge, you know, on top of the fridge. I don't know why, but we got some custom AirPods. If you wanna come take a look at these little babies, look how cool that is. Like it's all like fluorescent. It like changes colors and the light. These are dope. Gonna do a giveaway, not for these ones, but for another pair in the coming months. So stay tuned for that. And now we're gonna come back towards the bathroom. Honestly, there's not much in the bathroom, you know, the bathroom. There's not much to go over. You know, we got a sink, we got a shower, we got a toilet. That's about it. The only bad thing about this bathroom is the sink. Cause like, it just doesn't make sense. Cause this side of the sink's being used and this one isn't. Turn it full blast. You put your hands in there, you get sprayed. So nothing too special. Also another really cool thing that I have in my condo is this thing called the one wheel. Um, it's a little bit expensive to get, but it is literally the best thing I have ever bought. I get around the city with this thing, brings me everywhere, you know, don't have to pay for Ubers, don't have to have a car because I live downtown Toronto. So this thing literally gets me around everywhere. Highly, highly recommended. This isn't sponsored whatsoever. It's literally me just talking about this thing because it's a product I believe in. Super cool. And also another thing that I really want to show you with this condo is the balcony. So we're going to go there real quick. Uh, let's go. Finally, we got the balcony. It's kind of loud out here because literally right down below, we have an entire highway. Inside, you can't really hear it though because all the glass is super thick and it's pretty soundproof. But as you can see, you can literally see the entire city. You know, we got the distillery over there. We got the entire downtown right there. And if you look far back over there, you can see the CN Tower, you can see Union Station. If you're from Toronto, you know what that is. This is pretty much the balcony. Honestly, super, super happy with this view. It's insane, it's crazy. And for the price that I'm paying for this place, like this is insane, especially for Toronto, because most units in Toronto for a single start at like 2000, go up to like 2200 for a single bedroom. I'm paying 1750 a month for this place. So the fact that I get this view, this whole place is mind blowing, super thankful and super crazy. But 
one last thing we gotta talk about and we're gonna go inside to finish it off. As soon as this place is, there are a few bad things that I should probably mention and they're things that just don't make sense to me. So we're gonna do that real quick. So this switch right here is the most annoying thing ever because if I flip the switch to off, all the Wi-Fi in my unit gets completely cut off. Also this light switch, you know, you think most light switches will turn a light on and off. As you can see here, um, there's literally no light going on or off in this room because there's no light in the room. So this is kind of just like a useless light switch. And lastly, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but the sink, because if you go full blast and you put your hand under there, you're literally going to get soaked every time. I don't really understand it and it's just kind of annoying. But anyways, guys, that is the entire condo. This is my whole place that I've been living in. You know, haven't posted a video in a while because I've been honestly lazy, busy with school and everything else that I've been doing. But you know what, now we got an editor, we're gonna be on our grind, you know, we're gonna be getting it back up to two to three times a week, I promise it. I'm committed, we're gonna make it happen. So make sure y'all subscribe, make sure you guys hit the like button because you know what, it helps me out a ton. I appreciate your faces. And yo, comment down below what kind of videos you wanna see, whether that's challenges, couple challenges, vlogs, adventures, pranks, whatever you guys want, let me know and I'll take your suggestions. Anyways guys, it's been your boy, Eric Shook. I love your faces and peace out.